We're in Internet Information Services on a Windows 2019 server. I'm going to show you how to set up basic authentication. So right now, if we put in the name of the server, we get the default website. But what if we want people to get prompted to log in to get into that website? So what we can do is we can go into Server Manager and then Add Roles and Features. And we're going to keep going until we get to Server Roles. And then I'm going to expand the Web Server IIS. I'm going to expand the Web Server 7 of 34 installed. And then expand Security. And I'm going to click the box that says Basic Authentication. We can also check the box for Windows Authentication, either one of those. Click Next, Next, and Install. This is assuming that you've already installed Internet Information Services. If you missed that part, just check out the video in this playlist, and it'll show you how to do all that and get it set up to do basic configuration. Looks like it's all done. So now when I go back into Internet Information Services, I'm just going to refresh. We go to Authentication. And now authentication tells us that we've got basic authentication as well as Windows authentication. So if I want to set up basic authentication on this, then I'm going to want to first disable anonymous access. So I'll disable that. Now I'm going to enable basic authentication. There we go. Now I'm going to restart the website just to make sure that gets refreshed. And it usually only takes a second to do that. Now I'm going to go back into my website. I'm going to hit F5. And now I'm getting prompted for a username and password. So I'll put in the administrator just as an example. Save that. And look at that, I'm right back into my website. Now it doesn't matter if you're doing SSL or if you're doing uh, HTTP as you see here. I don't have a certificate on here, but the procedure is exactly the same. Now we'll go ahead and do Windows authentication. So Windows authentication, I'm going to enable. And now I'm going to disable basic authentication because it's not a good idea to have them both enabled because you could end up having some authentication issues. Now I'm going to go back to my web page and I'm going to restart once again and I'm getting prompted again for a username and password. I'll put in once again the administrator and the password. Click Save. And once again, we're still back into our website after logging in. So the difference between Windows Authentication and Basic Authentication is Windows Authentication is going to be authenticated against a user that's actually on this particular server. Whereas Basic Authentication is going to send a username and password across the network to Active Directory to find out if that username and password actually exists. So between the two, the Windows Authentication, of course, is going to be more secure. But ultimately, you can see they work both the same way. They both prompt you for your username and password. You enter that, and then you get in. So that's how you set up authentication using IIS on a Windows 2019 server.